Hey guys, it's Jimmy's here, and today we're playing as Reggie Gigas. <laughs> no. Hey guys, we're playing Heart Gold, Nuzlocke, Art Lock, Think. Ah, uh, my intros are always kind of messed up. Hey guys, it's Jimmy's here, and today we are playing some more Pokemon Heart Gold, Art Lock. You know what? I have fun just saying that like four or five times in a row. Anyway, we're going to get going and start. <laughs> well. Well, try to get through this tower. That is my goal for this episode, is to get through this tower. I have leveled everyone up to around level 8. Uh, the lowest level I have is Armstrong at level 8, but he's taking a while to level up. We have Aliaster at level 9, Lee at level 10, and Taruki at level 9. Lee is going to be the project of the team. Aliaster is probably going to get project, and Armstrong is just... Armstrong is Armstrong, let's just not lie. Armstrong is a good Pokemon, but, uh... Armstrong is a good Pokemon, but, like, uh, he's just... <laughs> Slow start is very, very hurtful. Like, it is. If I had leftovers, it'd be less of a problem than it actually is. But anyway... Uh, I also gotta figure out why am I getting glitches like that every now and then. It does that, and like if I go into another room or something, it will just turn my screen black and whatever. Uh, it's not fine. It, 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 I wish I, I need to figure out what actually is causing that. Let's go for a confuse raid, try to more or less get some t turns off over here on this mammal swine. I'm pretty sure we should be able to take out whatever. It's well, hopefully whatever it's packing. I'm not entirely sure if we can, but hey, Confuse Ray just helped. And my goal for this episode, if y'all were wondering if we're going to be getting any more encounters, not really in the plans. It's not really in the plan for this episode, so if you're not interested, I would suggest like just waiting until next episode where we get more encounters. I do plan on hitting, taking out the Sprout Tower, Arrival, and the Gym Leader, all hopefully in this one episode, as it seems like the best option for us right now. Ooh, Monferno's cool. Is fighting resistant to dark? Yes, it is. That answers my question. Armstrong is not grass. But it does no dizzy punch, which is stab, super, not super effective, but very effective. I just, I just remembered that uh, Monferno could have had a punch and that would have hurt a lot. Mm. I'm gonna switch out to Wigglytuff. No, that's like, mmm, delicious, nutritious experience. It's not a fairy type in this generation, it's only normal type, so knock off is super good. You go for another dizzy punch. Ah, uh, is dizzy punch just like really strong or something? I guess it is, because it only has 10 power points, and, like, I don't know, it just seems weird that it's that strong, like, it be considered that strong. Uh, X Accuracy. That's a grand old item for moves that I am not currently using. I don't, I don't think any of my moves have too much of a potential to miss, aside from... Uh, who, who has a potential to miss? Screech? Screech has a potential to miss, that's right. Here we go for that Confuse Ray. Um, as soon as we get Armstrong up to like level 11, maybe level 10, and we'll, we'll start messing around with him. Uh, we'll, or we'll swap off to someone else. But like, right now, I can't, I can't use Taruki. Because, to, uh, I mean, it's an Absol, and all Taruki has is confusion, and, uh, we know that doesn't work. It's all good, but, uh, Lee just learned Screech, actually, and it's at level 10, so, like, I have a, I have two defense lowering moves, which is kind of funny. No, we're not gonna do that, we're... I'm gonna let you send out the Raticate and knock it out with knockoff because we're almost to the point where slow start is done and like my base 40 attack or not base 40 attack my 40 attack points are going to just demolish things in front of me.
That, but that's that's also the thing with Armstrong. Once he gets going, he just goes. Like he doesn't have to stop. Which like leftovers would make that even more annoying for the opponent. He has almost a perfect move set if I had more power points on Dizzy Punch, but I don't. So it's fine. It, it's how the move works. And we just got a choice band. Uh, item, give, choice band. <laughs> Lee's getting a choice band. Why? Why not? I only have one attack move on Lee, so might as well. I don't plan on using Sandstorm anytime soon. Then again, if I do run into a Shed Ninja, it does help. But then again, he has his one move is Bite, so... Oh no! This is not one up. One of the Pokemon I do not really want to fight. I didn't want to. I don't want to fight a Steel type right now. I'm not, I'm not even worried about the Electric typing because he can't really do too much. Because I could just go out to Lee and avoid all Electric damage. I don't think it'll have Magnet Bomb on it at level three. It does have Supersonic though. That's problems problematic. Anyway, we have choice band on Lee. We're gonna go for the bite. That's not very effective, but that's boosted by choice. Yeah. I mean, okay, I'm seven levels higher than it, but still, the fact that I have a choice banded bite is like super cool. That cry was awesome. <laughs> That cry is awesome. I don't know why, but that cry... It's not like, oh, I love to hear them. I love to hear the cries of my defeated Pokemon. I did not see who he's sending out. Oh, he's sending out Lavender. I am actually not worried at all, because... You're not resisted to bite. The only reason that uh, Magneton was taking that was because he's resisted to bite. Is Poison resistant to bite? Maybe. Nope. Because I know I even know that Swallow is defensive, isn't it? Like, it, or is it special defensive? It's one of those. It's all good. I don't know move sets on Swallow very well. So many things to fight, and we got a Nest Ball. I think that works well on like lower level Pokemon, so that's pretty good. I trained to find enlightenment in Pokemon. Yeah, watch all these guys only have like one Pokemon, right? He has a level six Haunter, so yeah, enlightenment with a ghost Haunter. That's that's terrifying. But we're normal type, so we're not even actually. Oh yeah, you can't do anything to us except hypnosis. He doesn't know Dream either, a level six. I mean, I don't. I'm not too worried about being asleep because you still can't do anything to me. All it's doing is lowering the amount of time until I can do that. There we go. Oh. Almost. Almost got Armstrong up to level 11. No, Joey, I'm not answering the phone. I knew it was going to be Joey. Let's try with Tanuki for a little bit, because... Well, we got him almost a level 11, so... Can we get a double battle here? Nope. That sucks. I kind of wish we could. Kind of sucks. I mean, it would have been an easy way to speed things up, but... Eh, whatever. Um... Would May Nitric have Bite at level 6? Nah, it doesn't matter. Taruki Taruki does not care. Taruki just gained a whole Taruki actually gains a lot of experience. Like, he... I don't know if Alakazam just has a low experience threshold, but, like, he leveled up... 
I was in like four or five battles with him and he was at level nine. And I'm like, okay. Oh no, you have, oh no, you have, oh no, you have something I can't actually hit. Um, I was going to make a joke, but uh, you actually have something I can't take down with Alakazam. Alakazam! You're gonna bump up your attack. That's cool. That's cool. I respect that. I'm gonna bite. Oh, you're gonna bump up your attack again. Again, I respect that, man. I, I do. I'm do. I'm gonna bite. Oh, you're not gonna do anything. Oh, I can't respect that. I can't respect that at all. Lee, Lee's just gonna beat you with like your own typing. Just he's hungry. He hasn't eaten his mountain yet. He needs his daily mountain. Uh, slacking is actually very, very work troublesome. I'm gonna stay in with Lee. Because I think he's like the strongest I would have to actually deal with the slacking. Nope. That wasn't even. I don't wanna. Uh, Taruki is not. Oh, I could have switched to Taruki because he has two Truant. It's a safe switch in no matter what. Fusion? Oh wait, you're level seven. Do you only have yawn? Probably tackle. You wouldn't have like revenge. I'm thinking Norman, guys. Norman has a slack. King. Slack kings are terrifying. So, like, slacking in, in, in itself is a terrifying Pokemon. Just... I mean, if it didn't have true Truant, it would be even... Like, that's why, like, uh, slacking with a randomized ability, no matter what ability he gets, that's, it's better than Truant. Like, it is. Like, nothing's as bad as Truant. Do I need to heal up? Mm, not really. I'm not seeing anything I need to worry entirely too much about. You've shown us what you've got, and it is indeed good. Take this technical machine. However, you should care, care more about your Pokemon. The way you treat your Pokemon can be too harsh. Remember, Pokemon are not tools of war. Moxie. <laughs> he calls himself the elder, but he was no match for me. Sure enough, those who lecture how we should be nice to Pokemon, they cannot defeat me. All I care about is our strong Pokemon that win every time. The rest of them don't mean anything to me. Moxie used Escape Rope. We're gonna go take the item. Ah! Nope. 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 We ran into a random encounter, guys. Do we get to keep it? Ooh, Tentacruel is cool. That honestly would have been a really good typing for the team. Ah, I was about that. We found a razor claw. If I get a glide score or a sneasel. I think it's sneasel. I need a sneasel. Sneasel's good in the razor claw. Dan okay, it's <laughs> dancer Zoe. Sends out a chimchar. Level seven. We may be a little bit over leveled for this. Just, just a little bit. You never know, they could throw out an Arceus for all we know, man. That or a Reggie. Uh, or for Ugly, which is kind of actually just as terrifying. Commander Mars is. Commander Mars has been hearing me call people Commander Mars and is like, I'm not having this. There's only one. That's why it's terrifying. That fig out. I mean, I didn't go out to Aliaster because I have only one move that could possibly hit this, and Leech Life is gonna take forever to take down for Ugly. I mean, I guess I could screech it down too. That was the bad part about actually leveling up Aliaster. It took a while to get him to where. I mean, like, the other Pokemon weren't hard, but I, I spent a lot of time just using Screech, and then, like, I used Screech, and then Leech Life on things that could be hit by Leech Life, or Screech, and then 
Astonished on things that could be hit by Astonish. Uh, a lot of things can't be hit by Astonish, astonishingly. Thank you for hurting yourself. Screech! Screech! Hey, 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 I lowered your defense for a reason. Don't you be unlowering that defense. No, the 55 accuracy and hit. Oof. So you have defense curl, you have sing, and you have hurt yourself in confusion. Um, are we going to win by you hurting yourself in confusion? Because... That honestly would be hilarious because we didn't. We never made actual physical contact with you at that point. Oh, pound. There we go. And you're gonna go down to a leech life. Like, to be fair, they made leech life a lot better and took it away from Zubat early on. But they gave him a Zorb, which is arguably better than leech life in this game. It hits rocks types, hits ground types, hits water types. Three types. Whereas Leech Life, as far as I knew, only hit Psychic, Dark, and Grass. Oh, we got Flash. Um, that may not sound bad, but it kind of... It, honestly, it pretty much is. What it... You don't run into many Psychic types. And to be honest, Psychic types would dem pretty much demolish Zubats. One Confusion could pretty much take them down, more or less. A uh, Golbat, not so easily, but point still stands. Um, what else? I would teleport, but teleport doesn't work here. You don't run into many, oh my goodness, I could have had a Glagger. I don't care because I, I have a, uh, I have a Golbat. I'm fine with that. I love Golbat. I was just thinking that because I just got a Razor Claw. Is it Razor Claw? Or was it Razor's like Razor Fang for him? I'm almost certain it's for uh, Razor Claw is for. Why can't I think of the name? Sneasel. Sneasel. That's right. And heal up and go take on Faulkner because we're only what like 20 minutes in at if that nah, we got it we can, we can run through Faulkner real quick we're level 9 in our like we got a level 12 9 through 11 9 through 12 something like that pretty sure Golbat will be fairly decent level by the time we get through this uh Flying type of mine. You're not gonna give me. Well, you're not gonna give me a. That's not. You're not gonna give me a water? Oh, jerk. Remember, drink water, kids, because my throat, my voice has been going out since I started recording this again. Recording again, and I forgot how, like, how much I actually. What's not I? How much it strain it actually puts on my voice. Puts a lot on there. Glagger's going for Harden. A flying ground type. I mean, you're immune to electric moves. But you're weak to water and grass. And no, grass is neutral. And Astonish is. It's not just resistant because flying. That's right. Not astonished, but leech life. Why was I thinking astonished? Because I wanted to use astonished. Um, this is what I was talking about, Aliastic. It doesn't, he doesn't hit hard enough. Yet. Yeah, he doesn't hit hard enough. Yet. He's very. 
Like, a lot of my mons are either... I'm going to have to learn, give them stuff to hit hard, like Lee. That, uh... Choice Band is really good on him. Seeing as my only move is a physical move, and it's... I'm not getting type bonus from it right now, but it's still better than not. Ooh, poison thing. You gonna poison me? You know, nah, you're not gonna poison me. Why would you want to be poisoned? Because Lee has guts. And you keep increasing your defense. We needed to talk about this. Lee is not happy with that. He's gonna eat your Glagger. Lee is having a snack, and it's called Glagger. I mean... A fresh biker a day keeps the doctors away. <sighs> that it does. That it does. What are you going to have, sir? May I have another? Trainer Veronica sends out a whooper. Like right now, if I had Absorb, it would be four times effective against this Whooper. I know, I get it, Leech Life would be four times effective against a Psychic Ghost type. Or Psychic Dark type. But even then... Oh, it's fine. I, I, I don't, like what do y'all think about that? I feel like Absorb is a better move PowerPoint, PowerPoint, <clears throat> PowerPoint for PowerPoint, than Leech Life. I believe it's a better move than Leech Life, but that's that's my opinion on that. Because, yeah, they both do the same thing. They absor absorb hits, absorb hits a lot more common types, and a lot more type common type combinations. It hits water, ground, rock. What else does it hit? I know I could have sworn grass hit something else. No, it only hits those three, but like rock and ground are common as all get out on uh, typing charts. Um, can go for a screech. I mean, that's the only way to make leech life any better. The only downside to it is absorb relies on your special effect. But here's the thing. The Zubat line does not have a abysmal special attack. It does have a fairly decent special attack move pool. Maybe not move pool, but uh, power pool there. Its main weaknesses, in my opinion, are maybe its defenses somewhere along the lines. Because it's a very fast sweeper. I mean, I guess you can set it up as a big sweeper. But it can also be a fat bat, too. Give a uh, gold bat to Evil Light, and it just like it says, no, I have more defenses. I don't know. I, I love Zubat. <laughs> I just can't figure out. I can't figure out what to talk about, guys. The fact that Alias only has two attacking moves, and they're both really bad moves right now. Faulkner, I defeated your flying type, guys, and I think. I think only one of them actually had a flying type. I don't remember what I did. Oh, he had a whooper and a voodoo. Yeah, you only had one flying type in your entire gym, and you have a dust noir. Um, I'm gonna go to Armstrong. Why? I resist your typing. Well, I mean, mean to your typing. Foresight. I can now hit you with my normal type dizzy punch. Yay! Oh, you're gonna go for disabled. Oh no. How will I ever see you again? Confuse Ray! Dust Noir is pretty cool though. Come on, Dust Noir is really cool though. He is very confused, but he's very cool. And hurt himself in the process. Knock off? Do you even have a item? No, you don't. I think your next Pokemon would though. Now here's the question, does Foresight work in reverse? Does it let you hit non-ghost types with ghost type moves? I don't think it does. Oh, give me a second.
Oh shoot, I gotta get done with this episode faster than I thought I would. <laughs> uh, gonna send out a mana feed. No point in switching now, I'm already set up. Uh, mana feed. I thought you were level 12. I guess they bumped it up to level 13. Whatever, it's fine. Knock off! Because I think you have a berry. You don't have a berry. Why? Why do you? Why do they never have a berry? This thing has tail glow. This thing has tail glow. We need to take it out as soon as possible. Oh, dizzy punch does cause confusion. Okay. Okay, you use. I was more worried about the bubble than I was about that after a tail glow, but. Okay, whatever. Bye! Have a beautiful time! Oh wow, you're still standing. Why is Knockoff doing so little? Like... Does it really have that low of a power point? Or is it just, like, it's not really effective if you run against things that aren't... ...holding an item? Well, I guess that makes sense. If it's not holding an item, why would it be effective? It is meant to just knock the item off anyway. Uh, for pity's sake, my dad's cherished bird Pokemon. Those were not birds, sir. Unless Dust Noir was a bird before it died. Um, those weren't birds. What? They weren't. You're telling me that this man had birds. Those were not birds. Thank you for the, like, this bird keeper did not have any birds. Like, this guy had a bird thing. It was a glider. But it was not a bird. I'm a bird Pokemon trainer. I have no birds. Professor Elm, yay. Oh, yeah, the guy, I did not want to call mom. There we go. Just, whoop. Gonna go back to the Pokemon Center. We're gonna get an egg. We'll probably we're gonna hatch that at the beginning of the next episode. But uh, was it you or was it you? Oh yeah, you're the one that gives us. I know what that is, but we're not gonna. I might do that, but um. I would have to look those up, and like I said, I kind of want to end this episode real quick. Get it done. I'm, I'm, I, I know it sounds like I'm rushing, but uh, I got somewhere to be. Let me go get that egg before I do this. And it's going to be our Azalea Town encounter. Is he? I could have sworn he said it was me. Or was it here? Okay, we got a super potion from our mom. And we got an egg from you. Okay. I'm not drawing an egg, guys. I'm not drawing an egg. When it when it hatches, we'll draw it, but I'm not I'm not drawing an egg. <laughs> anyway, this is where I call it an episode. This has been Third Tip is saying have fun playing games. If you're enjoying the series so far, leave a like, comment down below if you want if you have a name for Pokemon that you want me to use. Uh, if you haven't guessed my aunt my theming is anime names uh, names off of anime characters and things like that so anyway later guys